Good morning, my name is Michael with Safeguard Supply, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to program or pair the ERA PIR transmitter, which is this unit here, to the ERA DCRX receiver located here. Now, purchased together as a set, it's called the ERA PR DCR. This is a motion activated passive infrared sensor transmitter, and this is a plug in receiver. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the receiver is turned on. I've got it plugged in to a standard wall outlet here, and you can't really see it because of the lights, but there's a green LED in the corner here, and that lets you know that the unit is actually on. You can also use the volume button to scroll through the volume, mute, and then on and off. Now, when that red light is on, that means the system is muted. If I push it again, there's no light here, the unit is off. But if I push it one more time, all four of these LEDs are gonna come on and then this is gonna turn green. So when pushing the volume button, all four LEDs red means that it's on the highest volume setting. The next thing is to make sure there's a nine volt battery inside this transmitter. If I turn the transmitter over, you're gonna notice there's a screw well here. And just using a Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and take the screw out. And once you do that, the two pieces of this case should separate fairly easily. I've inserted a nine volt battery just to make this demonstration go a little bit quicker. But I wanna bring your attention to a couple of things. You just saw that red light go on. And that's because the photo cell here detected motion and it went ahead and transmitted a radio signal. You can also manually transmit by pushing the test button located right above the battery. So I'm gonna put this to the side. We've got everything turned on, ready to go. And the next step is to put the receiver in program mode. Now, this has four zones. You can program up to four transmitters per zone. Most people will put a distinct melody in each zone and pair one transmitter per zone. That way you can determine which door or which entryway triggered the receiver. But for this demonstration, we're just gonna program this transmitter sensor to zone number one on the receiver. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is again, make sure the unit's on, the green LED is on, and I'm gonna put the unit in program mode for zone number one. So the way to do that is to hold down the, mo the mode button for about three seconds. And you're gonna see that zone one is flashing. So that means I'm about to program into zone one. Now, using the zone button, I can scroll to the other zones if I wanna transmit or program a transmitter to another zone. But I'm gonna go back to zone one here. And then the next step is to trigger the transmitter. Now it could be a push button, it could be a door window contact. In this case, it's a motion sensor. I can either wave my hand over the photo cell, which will trigger this unit, which would then pair it to the receiver, which is in program mode, or I can push that test button. Now it detected my hand moving. You heard that quick little melody or tone sound. That means it's successfully programmed. So what I'm gonna do now is exit programming mode. I'm gonna hold down the mode button again. Now it's programmed. By default, each zone on the receiver is programmed to play the simple ding dong sound. If you've got one transmitter and you're happy with that sound, you're basically done. Uh, if you have a second transmitter and you want to pick a separate sound for that, you can certainly do so, or if you want to change the sound. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of changing the sound in zone one. Each sound is assigned to a particular zone. So what I'm going to do here is hold down the zone button. Similar in the sense that zone one is flashing, the other zone lights are solid. That's just the difference between programming a transmitter to the unit versus programming a melody to the zone. But zone one is flashing, so that lets me know that I'm gonna choose a melody for zone one. And then you're gonna notice the volume button again. If I push the volume button, I will toggle and scroll through the different melodies available. That's a standard ding-dong sound available pre-programmed to each zone. 
If I push it again, that's more of an electronic ding dong sound. That's the one that I've decided I want to use for zone one. So now what I'm going to do is hold down the zone button again and exit melody program mode. Short tone, all the LEDs went off, the green one is still on. Now if I wave my hand in front of that transmitter, I should hear that new ding dong sound that I programmed to zone number one. So I hope that was helpful. Please email us at info at safeguardsupply.com or call us at 800-366-7235. Thank you.